live. This is Good Morning Connecticut on News 8. Welcome back to Good Morning Connecticut at 9 o'clock. In today's health headlines, how much coffee should you drink every day for health benefits? The outlook for antibiotic resistance in the future. And what to know about ultra-processed foods and type 2 diabetes. A lot to unfold yeah. here. Joining us is Dr. F. Perry Wilson, Associate Professor at Yale School of Medicine, mm -hmm. Yale Medicine Physician, and author of How Medicine Works and When It Doesn't. Nice to see you. All right. Good Thanks morning. Good morning, doctor. Okay, I want to start with the uh, the coffee situation here. A lot of us drink a lot of coffee, two, mm -hmm. three, four. Yeah, I'm raising my hand mm -hmm. too. Three, four cups a day. At what point is coffee a benefit and when does it become uh, something to worry about? Thanks. Yeah, there, this is uh, a new study that came out and it's one of a number of studies that continue to show some really good news, which is basically that coffee is pretty good for you. This is a study out of the UK that looked at 200,000 people, and they found that the more coffee they drank, the lower their risk of cardiovascular disease, like heart attack and stroke. They did find a sweet spot at around three to four cups a day. After that, additional cups weren't necessarily harmful, but didn't really provide any additional benefit. What I do have to say as a doctor, though, is that there's quite a bit of difference from, you know, a cup of black coffee mm. and a venti mocha frappuccino, yeah. you know, with 800 calories in it. So be a little careful of the type of coffee you ingest. But, you know, it's good news. There aren't too many things in life that are pleasurable and good for you, but coffee yeah. seems to be one Sounds of them. Sounds promising. Okay. Yeah, we like that answer. Yeah, I like that one. I'm yeah. interested about this because a large study predicts that superbugs, as a result of antibiotic resistance, is expected to cause, unfortunately, more than 39 million fatalities by the year 2050. This is alarming because I think sometimes we just jump to an antibiotic if we are feeling under the weather. So what can you tell us about this latest study? Yeah, I mean, it is it is pretty scary. About a million people around the world die every year from antibiotic resistant bacteria. You, you, you might have heard of MRSA, which is the most common one here, which is a type of Staph aureus that's resistant to many antibiotics. And, and the problem's only getting worse in part, as you mentioned, because we kind of throw antibiotics at things that don't necessarily need them, like viral infections. And that helps bacteria learn, evolve, to be resistant to them. We also use a lot of antibiotics in our food source Sources, you know, in, in, in beef and chicken production. Um, uh, and, and that also leads to antibiotic resistance. So there needs to be some major changes in those areas or we run the risk of running out of antibiotics that wow. will work for certain infections. Very Doc, scary. Doctor, real quickly, I want to talk about this link between ultra processed foods. And by that, we're talking about, I guess, crackers and cookies, stuff you find in the middle of a supermarket and the risk yeah. of type 2 diabetes. Yeah, ultra processed foods, junk food, right? You know, right, the, the, yeah. the stuff in the middle of the supermarket. This is a, a, a study looking at several hundred thousand people. And what it found was that for every 10% increase in ultra processed food intake, there was a 17% increase in the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So a pretty strong effect there. Um, and conversely, people who ate around the edges of the supermarket, right? The fresh produce, the fresh meats and unprocessed foods um, had a significantly lower risk of type two diabetes. So you really do want to stay away from those, you know, albeit delicious and easy to eat, those ultra processed foods. Absolutely. Dr. Wilson, we appreciate your time this morning. Anytime. All right. Thank you, sir. All right.